I think in light of the new prudential standards and the increased focus on the role of boards, board composition is going to be key. It's really important to take the time to think about the skills that you need on the board and whether your existing members have got the skills that you need. It's also important to think about how you coach your members to make the most of their skills and think about for succession planning what your board is going to need to look like in a couple of years time, particularly with the increased focus on audit committees, risk committees and the role of remuneration committees. I think people have used subcommittees for quite some period of time, but one of the things about the new prudential standards is there are clearer requirements over what the role of those committees are, the charters they need to have, and also the skills and experience that members of the committees need to have. I think the challenge that we have is that boards have so much information that they receive. If you look at the amount of information that an investment committee needs to go through, that it becomes not humanly possible to be able to process all that information and derive key insights and, and also to be able to smell the smoke coming under the door. So I'd really encourage directors to think about how can you create more bandwidth or use your bandwidth more effectively so that you have got time to spot emerging issues and themes and focus board's attention on those. It would be really ensure that you set the right tone at the top. Make sure that you've clearly communicated your expectations to your board and your organisation and have clarity around what they are.